Um, is that what you meant, or did you mean yeah. that's fine, that's fine. Hi, I'm Jeremy Wormsley. That was good, that was good. So, you know, hi, Moo, just, I'm Jeremy Wormsley. I, mean, I get to sort of Wormsley. say my name. Wormsley, Jeremy Wormsley. Yeah. I found a song on the internet, someone had mm -hmm. written, um, where they mentioned me in the lyrics. Um, it's really weird, really weird hearing someone sing on it. Yeah. I thought they'd say that. But, uh, <laughs> Um, what's your best joke or icebreaker? Best joke? Um, this guy is on, uh, this guy walks into a bar with a, his head is the size of an orange. Um, and the barman says to him, oh my god, what happened to you? And the guy says, well I was washed up on a, on a desert island many years ago and um, I found a genie's bottle. And uh, I've been on this desert island now for 20 years, and you know, I never, I haven't, you know, I hadn't seen a woman for 20 years, and I was, I was really lonely and sad. And anyway, this, this, you know, this bottle arrives, and I, I rub it, and this, this genie comes out, and um, this joke's really inappropriate, actually. <laughs> this always happens when I tell this joke. It never goes that well. Maybe I should think of a different joke. Um, and uh, you know, the genie comes out, and it's this amazingly beautiful female genie. And he's thinking, oh god, I should really, you know, I should ask the genie to send me home and then I can get home. But, um, you know, lust gets the better of him, basically. And he says, he says to her, oh, my, you know, my wish is to be able to make love to you. And the genie says, well, I'm afraid. So, um, as you can see, I'm insubstantial. I don't have a body. I'm, I'm non-corporeal. So I can't grant that, that wish, I'm afraid. And so he says, okay, well, how about a little head then? And that's the joke. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the joke is that um, to ask the little head for he head orange, um, right? But he, head he he's, head in the is other also way. Um, the act of so <laughs> It's not a very pleasant joke. I, I apologise mm. for telling it. But, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not much of an icebreaker, really, is it? it just makes mm -hmm. people feel awkward. <laughs> Story. <laughs> Um, do you think your music has developed since you first started playing? Oh yeah, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. I've um, I've learned a lot about kind of what the point of making music is, and especially playing live. I think it's kind of mm -hmm. a long way. Like with the benefit of a couple of months of hindsight now, I wouldn't say that my I I wouldn't say that my second album is like drastically better than my first album. I think they're pretty much on a par. But I think my live shows have got so much better, mm -hmm. and kind of. Um, Well, the funny thing about it is, is that when I when I start when I was when I was kind of more starting out, I don't I don't think what I was doing is any worse than what I was doing now. But the difference is now I can tell you why things I'm doing are better or worse. It doesn't mean that I can necessarily do things that are better or worse. Okay. But I can I can sort of analyse them with more skill, cool. which is useless really because all you really want to do is be able to make better music. But, uh, yeah. It's just, um. After you've been on tour, what's your favourite thing to do when you get home? Um, play the piano. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a bit sad, but... Yeah. Uh, like a proper one, like yeah, electric one. Yeah, a real one, rather than <coughs> yeah. electronic crappy one. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to come home to a real piano. Because when you're playing you know, a crappy electrical piano, it's all coming out mm. of the speakers. And when you're playing a real piano, the sound's mm. just all around you coming out mm. of the strings, and you can feel it vibrating mm. in the angles. Cool. Um, I have a bath. I'm gonna have baths on tour as well, really. So I don't know. Yeah. In fact, I have more baths on tour than at home. So maybe not bathing, just just the piano. If they put a piano, piano in the travel lodge, then I'd be yeah, in a bath. Yeah. Like, yeah awesome. And then made out of oak, so it didn't. Yeah. Is it oak that doesn't rot, or is it no? It's aspen. Well, then you can make a piano out of aspen. Mm. So strong. Okay. Um. Probably, um, probably some Beethoven, you know, something with some real, real substance to it that yeah. you can really get into. Like maybe the third piano concerto in C minor. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the third piano concerto in C minor. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just like you could take some pop music, obviously, but like, I mean. 
<laughs> you know, it's just, you want something, it's, if you're going to have to listen to the same thing over and over, it mm. better be something that's not going to get annoying. And yeah. as all pop music is based around repetition, it is going to get annoying. Mm. Whereas, you know, classical music, there's a lot less repetition and it's yeah. not through composed and you can kind of get, mm. get, get a lot more out of repeat listening. Yeah. Maybe, uh, Joanna, you knew some each or have you not put out the second mm. album? Which uh, also doesn't have a lot of repetition. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Cool. My friend was slagging that off. Really? Yeah, she's saying the first album better than the second. I think she's. So, I don't. I don't care for the first album at all. I don't. I don't think it's a good album at all. I think the second mm. album is one of the best albums. Yeah. At least in the last ten years. Take that. Yeah. Wait, was it you? That was <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying it's a coming. The last album or LP you bought? Uh, the last album I bought was um, I bought a couple this week. I bought the new. You heard of uh, Dark Was the Night? No. It's um, a charity album compiled um, by the guy from the National. You know about the National? Right? Yeah. And it's got kind of like uh, Grizzly Bear, Feist, oh, Southland yeah, yeah. Stevens, um, yeah. Arcade Fire, Beirut, like what, yeah. all the stars of American Indian and a couple of European and British guys as well. And it's just it's just some really good music basically and like, lots of good collaboration between you know, unexpected people and stuff. It's really good. Really good. Really good. I got um, an album by the Magnetic Fields called Charm of the Highway Strip. Mm. Um, Magnetic Fields made this one album called Sixty Nine Love Songs in yeah. two thousand and one, which is just amazing. And nothing else I've heard of this has kind of been anywhere near as good. Um, and unfortunately, this isn't either. But mm. I'm going to keep on plowing my way through the back catalogue until eventually I find something that matches up to Sixty Nine Love Songs. Yeah. Um, are there any musical instruments you wish to to play? Um, I really wish I could drum. I mean, I can drum badly, but I wish I could drum well. Mm. Cause then I could kind of uh, I could just kind of do it by myself, really. Yeah, which would be a lot easier than having to rely <laughs> other people. I wouldn't just you know, just let you down. Really, so. that would, that's a bit dark, actually. But I say, uh, I'd like to be able to play brass instruments. Mm. Um, I think I'd rather be I'd rather be able to like get by in all the instruments than be really good at any one instrument because mm -hmm. you can always find someone someone yeah. who's good enough at an instrument to come and play anything you want. No, like being good at an instrument isn't really kind of like an artistic end in, it, in itself. It's just a tool. It's like yeah. it's like I don't know what it's like. I just don't not know. being able to use one leg really well and then not being able to use one at all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or it's like being able to run really well but not having anywhere to go. Like not being able to think of anywhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, or like having a really good car. No, I suppose the car is not the instrument. <laughs> yeah, I can walk down here and metaphor. I see you shivering from the cold, you slip in front of me.